We close on our house! Woo! Welcome to episode two of Car Chats with the Kelly Fam. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Car Chats with the Kelly Fam. Right on. So we're taking a brief intermission from our recent episode, episode one, Which where we talked we about met. how we met. This episode is gonna talk about... Our house building process. Yes. we just closed on our house. Like. 30 seconds ago. By the time you watch this, it will be like a week ago, but. Like a week ago. It was a crazy experience. We signed our papers around Thanksgiving of 2020, and now we're sitting in the end of June of 2021. It's a crazy year to build a house, I'll say that. Just to give you some perspective, in 2020, we actually moved to Dallas, Texas. We packed up our whole life and our two boys at the time and we moved to Dallas for our job op opportunity for Ty, which was a really good thing, but it was a really scary thing at the time. We moved from a home with a yard and a dog and everything. We moved to a tiny little apartment that cost more than our home. This is fast forwarding five years into our marriage. So you're gonna learn a lot about us in between that because we started off 11 years ago on episode one. So we're fast forwarding 11 years in the future to right now, present day, where we just closed on our third ever home, but our first ever house that we built. We remodeled two homes, but this is the first one that we've actually gotten brand new. Our first two were ugly and we made them cute. So it's been a different experience for sure. Remodeling a home is super stressful as well, yeah. but we're really excited and we're happy to be in one place for a little while. How are you so, feeling right now? I'm kind of in disbelief still, I think. I think I still, we've had so many hiccups in this house building process and it's been delayed so many times. I think I'm honestly just a little bit in denial that it's actually our house, like that I actually have keys in my pocket to it. This reminded me of Finding Nemo. Denial. Right after we found out that Colby, our third born, Right there. We found out that Colby was going to be an actual thing. We didn't. He's going to be with us. He was going to be April. with us. We found out that Haley was pregnant, and that really accelerated the conversation of us moving back to Jacksonville. My job had taken me to Dallas. It was a job that we had to move there because I was supposed to work in the office. But the second we got there, we were on lockdown, mandatory lockdown. We got there and it was 14 days to slow the spread. I never went to the office. I snuck into the office like twice. Just to have just to, peace and quiet. Just to be in the office to get an office atmosphere for a day or two. Not one time did he actually have to go to the office as a requirement for his job. So we basically just moved to Dallas for fun for a year. We moved to Dallas for me to work from an apartment. With two kids with two kids and a pregnant, and a pregnant wife. wife. <laughs> that accelerated the process of us talking about coming back. I don't know where. I don't know where you went. Ty was driving went. us in circles because he's looking for a Sercheros. I, I didn't go far enough, dadgummit. He, um, he's looking for a Sercheros to get himself some food. But I did not go far enough. Anyways, being pregnant with Colby Girl kind of accelerated our thought process on getting back. The pandemic just looked like it was not, you know, going anywhere anytime soon. His job, thankfully, can be done 100% remote. So after a few conversations with his company, we got the green light and decided to build this house. This was back in Thanksgiving 2020. Mind you, the house originally was supposed to be done in February or March is what they told us. We came for Thanksgiving. We found a house that was already in the process of being built, but we caught it in time. We didn't really have the amount of time it would take to build a home from scratch. So we found this house, it's just our house as of today, and it was already in the process of being started. So they already had the permits and things, but it had not actually been built yet. So that sped up the building process. We kind of took a leap of faith and signed on that house. Luckily, we didn't actually know at the time, but we signed in time that we still got to go to the design center and choose a lot of the interior finishes and things, even though the exterior and all the structural things were already set in stone. Except for the paint. Except for the paint. I negotiated our paint because I wanted my white house with black accents. Cash calls at the White House. We got to go to the design center when we came back for Christmas. It was actually the day before New Year's. And we weren't supposed we to weren't get it in person. We were not supposed to get to go. We were gonna do it over Zoom. 
Yes. How do you pick out all the stuff for your house over Zoom? You don't. Thankfully, there was a cancellation last minute. They called us with like 24 hours notice and said, can you make it? Luckily, we were in town and not in Texas. We went to the design center. We got to upgrade the house however we wanted and pick all of our design finishes. We ended up doing a lot in the house. Some structural things we couldn't change, but that's okay. We're going to put a little bit extra into our upgrades, which we're super thankful for. We got it all framed out and it was ready all framed out and ready to go December, around January. Late, January. Late January, it was ready. Then we found out about this window shortage that had happened because of COVID. Long story short, our house sat until May 3rd waiting for windows. Yeah, so we waited forever Months. in a day. That was definitely a trying time. But mind you, my pregnancy was coming to an end, so we either had to decide we we're gonna move back to Florida to deliver the baby here with my OBGYN that we know and love, or we're gonna stay in Texas in this apartment until our house is done and deliver a baby here. We just decided that the best decision for us was to go ahead and make our way back to Florida regardless and just kind of figure it out. And we have now lived in- Four so different places. We have lived in so four different places in three months. And if you're in the short-term rental business, you are making a ton of money right now. Yeah, so we had to pay for a vacation basically every time we went. One of the places was really cool. The Purple Beach House, which was really sweet. Upstairs. We went from his parents' house to where we were all in one bedroom, to the upstairs of a friend's house where we were all in two, two bedrooms. bedrooms, to the funky Purple Beach House, which was a three bedroom, two bath house, which we loved that house, but we couldn't stay there for more than a month because there were missionaries that were gonna live there. And our last house, which where we're currently moving out of tomorrow, is literally a vacation rental on the river. When I booked it, they were like, welcome to your vacation, congratulations. And we were like, oh, we just need to live here. It's been a wild ride. And needless to say, our movers are coming tomorrow. And we cannot wait. That might be an understatement. We're super thankful. We're moving into our house. We'll have to put some footage Ooh. of the house at the end of this. Yeah, we'll definitely have so. to include some footage of the house in this. Who wants and, to see uh, our new house? Yeah, who wants to see the new house? Maybe Better. that's a new YouTube video. Or maybe. You know? Yeah. Maybe you'll get some more of us in the house we can show you some of the house thank y'all for following along be sure to like comment and subscribe thanks for being part of the kelly fam see ya see ya